Hi there, this is Kathleen Packett with KathleenPackett.com and ILN with Kathleen.com. Today, I just thought, hmm, what am I going to talk about? It's day 12 of the Internet Lifestyle Network video challenge. And that I think that taking action is what we're going to talk about today because we've been given an inside challenge inside of Internet Lifestyle Network to comment on a post. We, Mark Hoberson has said that he will do a minute a day video with us giving us his wisdom each day in a video. But we have to reach 300 comments in this post that say, I can't wait. So we've been a couple of days trying to get this post out there to the members to take action on. And now that's right now 10% of our membership. So you would think, Man, out of 3,000 people, we ought to be able to get 300. But it's, it's part of life is what happens. People become a part of something. They want success, but they're not there all the time. They're not consistent. And consistency is what builds your success. You have to be there every day. You have to show up every day. And every day you have to take some form of action. And it ought to be consistent action with what you do every day so that your habit is built. But to begin with, you just plain need to show up. You can't have success if you don't show up. So, um, and the other thing is, is, I don't know that when you put this in perspective, I was thinking about this. If Mark did a minute a day with us for 365 days, that's like six hours worth of coaching. And he gets over $3,000 an hour to coach somebody. So that's $18,000 worth of coaching that he's willing to give us and all we have to give back is an I can't wait. How do you get people to take action? And I don't know that you can. You, you know, you can inspire people to a certain degree, but it has to come within. And they have to be willing. If you want success, you got to be willing to make some sacrifices. And you've got to be willing to do some trade-offs while you're building success. We have all kinds of distractions in our life. And, and I'm one that is probably as attention deficit as you can get. Because if I get on Facebook or if I get into my email, it's like I'm checking this and I'm checking that. And time is going away. So I understand how quickly the time can disappear, which is why we have to be so protective of our time. We have to guard that time like it's worth the million dollars that it truly is worth. Because once it's gone, it's gone. You can't get that back. So what you do with that time is very very important if you want success as an entrepreneur and so to give an example of how much time you have to give when I started my salon business I would go in at 5 o'clock in the morning and I would sometimes be there until 10 o'clock at night taking care of customers that needed to get in before they went to work and customers that needed it 
after work or they just plain needed something special or maybe they had done something that wasn't so hot on their own and needed it at a late hour. So, but I did that to begin with because I needed to establish my clientele. I needed to establish that they could come to me and I would help them solve their problems and I would make them feel better. Do I have to do that now? No, of course I don't. But in the beginning, when you start something, you have to give it your all. You have to give it a thousand percent because you've got a learning curve, you've got to build, and you've got to get your toolbox built. And with online, over time, you're going to find out what it is that people have trouble with, where their hangups become. And, and you will have, you'll learn to build how-to videos and info videos to take care of that so you can send them to your videos and say, this is how you do that. You don't have to put in all that time yourself once you've built. But at first, you've got to put in a lot of time. And you've got to, that's the sacrifice that you make. You decide, do I want to spend extra time on Facebook? Or do I want to go out with my friends? Or do I want to play games or, what, or watch TV? All of those things are not bad things. It's just that if you've only got so much time, you just have to decide where's that time going to go. And success comes from being willing to do that little something extra that others aren't willing to do. That's all it takes. It's just a little bit of extra effort to um, be willing to solve somebody else's problem, be willing to help be willing to put yourself out there so that people, you can be transparent and so that people can get to know you. That's why this video challenge is so important of doing 100 videos in 100 days so that every day you're building that habit of being consistent. You're getting yourself out there so that people know who you are. That builds that know, like, and trust factor. You're being transparent and they're seeing that Maybe you weren't so hot when you first started doing videos and maybe you're gaining your self-confidence or your, the way you speak or, you know, maybe they're watching you grow and so that it gives them the courage to say, well, they weren't so hot when they started out either. And, and yet over time with experience, with, with tenacity to stay with it, you got better. And that's all it is, is just willing to put in that effort to hang with it and do what others aren't willing to do. So make it a great day. Peace and success. Kathleen Packard, KathleenPackett.com and ILN with Kathleen.com.